I'm standing here at the Lucy Mud Volcano just south of the city of Sidarjo. Um, the Lucy Mud Volcano was triggered in 2006 after a drilling accident and um, the Indonesian company Lapindo was drilling in the region for hydrocarbons and struck a pocket of mud uh, and weren't able to contain the mud. Um, so this has now been erupting for 11 years covering a total of nine villages with mud. Uh, they've now built a containment dike, which is probably encompassing an area of about 30 square kilometers, um, five to six kilometers on each side of a square dike. And the mud at its deepest is now probably 10 to 15 or even 20 meters deep in some locations. Uh, you can see the steam in the background, that's the active vent, probably about 100 meters from here. And every now and then you can see mud bubbling up. Um, this is the group that's on a field course right now, Geography 430C field course. And in order to get access from the dike out to the center, we have all come on uh, small motorcycles. Um, all the drivers that are working here formerly lived in this area. So my driver, um, when he said where his house used to be, he basically pointed downwards. Um, so his house is now covered in mud, and he said he's now living in a slum or an informal settlement. Uh, he's got eight kids, and he's working as a driver. <clears throat> We're paying them uh, 35,000 rupiah to come out here for about 15 or 20 minutes, so that's three and a half dollars Canadian, and that's their, their only living now. Uh, there, there have been efforts to try and pay compensation to some of the uh, displaced people in the region. Um, it's very hit and miss. Some people have received compensation and they've resettled outside the dike in other houses. Uh, but there are hundreds and hundreds of families that are waiting for compensation even 11 years later. Um, it's a very complex story about why compensation hasn't been paid. Uh, essentially, the company itself is claiming this was a natural event triggered by an earthquake and the Indonesian government has at some level accepted that explanation and so that really gets the drilling company off the hook for compensation. So the government is paying some of that compensation and the company has paid some but uh, they're, they're walking away from a lot of their compensation um, uh, the demands or responsibilities.